Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I am going to be talking about sex with the zodiac sign Cancer, and yes, it does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Well, anyway, first thing I'll look at as far as sex with the astrological sign Cancer, well, people first have to have an understanding that cancer can be temperamental and moody. And a lot of the times that they'll have sex, their, their frequency they'll have sex is often predicated on the mood they're in prior to uh, intercourse. And I think one thing, is, especially for Taurus and cancer, I mean, they need to make sure they're full there. They're, they've eaten good, is what I'm saying, prior to the intercourse because this could really uh, strongly impact how they feel during this time more so than the other zodiac signs I believe and cancer is a sign to that during their lovemaking they want to have that strong deep that, that, that emotional rapport and connection they like to uh, make love and, and have sex with a lot of feeling involved in it they're not ones that are really into superficial flings. They're, they don't, they're not looking for frivolous relationships, generally speaking. They want somebody that is going to want their heart and somebody that they can strongly love. And, and a lot of people, regardless of sign, go uh, do this as well. But it seems like it's very more pronounced with cancer than a lot of the other zodiac signs. Now... As far as cancer, the zodiac sign goes with sex, well, they also can be very nurturing uh, people toward their sexual partner. They can be very clingy and, and very protective of those people. And when you look at uh, the zodiac sign cancer, what's important with them during sex, they, I mean, even a, a joke may not go well with them if it's something regarding their performance they might take it as some personal ridicule and criticism cancer is one of the more sensitive signs of the zodiac it is a water sign of course and a lot of it of course is a trip i mean it is attributed to that fact and cancer too i think what's interesting about cancer in sex is that you have in, in a natal or solar chart Aquarius will often be found on the eighth house cusp I think what's interesting about that is that cancer generally I mean as far as a sexual partner goes it seems like they do incline toward more conventional partners but on Aquarius on the eighth house seems like there can be a connection perhaps at times with somebody that's somewhat unorthodox or unconventional given that Aquarius does often fall on the eighth house cusp of sex maybe in some cases with some Cancerians maybe this is because because they are can be so conventional and traditional maybe they can attract somebody that's somewhat unusual to help balance that out but that being said i do think that, that i mean when you look at the compatibility with cancer of course pisces and scorpio are most compatible being both water signs and and sexual compatibility can also come from the, the signs uh, taurus and virgo and capricorn as well Capricorn does fall on the seventh house cusp in a solar or natal chart for cancer so and that is a, a sign that that can that cancer can be uh, attracted to as well and can have a strong union with now the thing about cancers uh, too is that they are often very uh, they could be reluctant and apprehensive in terms of uh, their approach in sexual relationships is there, there's somebody that they're attracted to uh, sexually it can take them a while to really open up and let them other person know about it. a lot of this I believe is attributed to cancer being hurt because they do really uh, they have uh, I mean more of an aversion to being hurt than perhaps any of the other zodiac signs they could be very sensitive and when cancer is involved in lovemaking, it, they often like to have, they're, they're very introverted 
and they like to have it often in a private setting often right in their home they don't like to go do anything outlandish or anything like on a rooftop or any any kind of uh, anything that might be somewhat out of the ordinary or unorthodox as far as the location uh, as sex goes so anyway another thing with this zodiac sign with cancer is that i i really see like with cancer the erogenous zone is going to be the chest and the stomach area because those are the parts that uh, cancer rules and that is the the section that they can be strongly uh, aroused uh, in in those in those areas so and cancer too is someone that if they are used as say in a sexual situation if somebody let's say use them for sex and they thought that, that person for whatever reason was really enamored or infatuated with them and that person just decided to take off cancer might be more devastated than virtually any other sign perhaps with the exception of Pisces because cancer generally is not one I mean they're not into this frivolous superficial type uh, relationships the one night stands they have kind of a very strong aversion to and when you have somebody that just plays them and just uses them and then dissipates into thin air they can be very devastated and if someone's had uh, a very sustained or protracted sexual relationship with cancer and then decides to take off on a whim and literally disappears I mean there's no the emotional turmoil cancer can go through can be it could really be exorbitant to say the least given that given their sensitivity on issues and anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for sex with the zodiac sign cancer and stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about sex with Leo two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well